was the movie that changed pop culture forever and 20 years later, Mean Girls is still one of the most referenced movies. But with a brand new remake on the way, how does it stack up? Steve Hargrave is here to dish all. Steve? Yeah, good morning, uh, Barretts. I think you're probably a bit of a Mean Girls fan. You've got a pink tie on, yeah. at least. Yeah. Pink is the colour of Mean Girls. So I think, yeah, 20 years ago, that original film came out, which is extraordinary. And it is back in a slightly different form, an all-singing and dancing musical. Catchphrases like, on Wednesdays we wear pink, so fetch, which means so cool, apparently. Uh, it's all flooding back, a film based on a musical, based on a film. Stay with me. I got to meet the cast. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. The first Mean Girls has become a classic, and now, 20 years later, it's back on the big screen, but this time as a musical. My name is Regina George. The story about high school cliques and friendships is still quoted all over the world, with fans dressing up in pink. And now a whole new generation gets to sing along as well. Tina Fey wrote the original, the Broadway musical, and also this new update. Well, as they say in the movie, on Wednesdays we do wear pink, don't we? Although I have to say, Tina, I wear this anyway, so this is just purely coincidental. It's a good colour for you. It's a good colour for you. Thank you. It matches my skin tone, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. Let me just consult my notes for some uh, some questions. <laughs> Luckily, they're not mean. We're very nice on Sunrise. So. Oh, good. Take me back 20 years ago, obviously a toddler, Tina Fey, writing this, the, this script when the first one came out. Could she have ever realised the cultural impact that Mean Girls would have? No. It, even as much of an egomaniacal monster as she was, no. She would not have imagined that. <laughs> It's been lovely to spend more time with these characters. It's been, it was fabulous to spend uh, time with these wonderful young actors. What's not to like? The original made stars of Rachel McAdams, Amanda Seyfried, and of course, Lindsay Lohan, who played new student Katie, who infiltrates the cliquey gang called The Plastics. Being with The Plastics was like leaving the actual world. <laughs> and entering girl world. This time round, that role is played by Aussie Spider-Man star Ang Dowry Rice, joined by Auli E. Cravalho and Jaquel Hubbard as her mates Janice and Damien. Uh, let me see, have I got anything in here for <laughs> Ang Gowry? I think, Ang Gowry, I can't say anything mean about you because you're an Aussie. It's not right, is it? It's not Thank right. Thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> Can Melbourne girls be mean at all? Maybe if you, if you had too much coffee? I don't know. <laughs> Love that. Um, I don't drink coffee, so I don't know, maybe if I drank coffee I would turn really, really mean. But no, I, I think people in Melbourne are, are generally on the whole very nice, yeah. <laughs> Any pressure at all taking on the mantle, you know, following in uh, Lindsay Lohan's footsteps? So much pressure. I mean, it, it, there's pressure from the outside, but there's also pressure from myself because I love her performance in that movie so much. I, I love the movie so much, so it, there's a responsibility to do right by the thing that I love and that I grew up watching as well. You know, it was just a fun time. It was, every day was a party, every day on set. It really works as a musical, doesn't it, this premise? I think so. Um, I think what the music really allows is like that internal dialogue that we all have with ourselves, except this time in music form. The musical was already a big hit on Broadway. US star Renee Rapp played the main mean girl, Regina George, on stage and now she immortalizes it on screen. I think it definitely gave me somewhat of an advantage. I also think that like there is a way in which it could be a disadvantage but also it's a musical like we're fine you know like I'm we're doing a musical I'm not like curing a disease. You could be really hot if you change like everything. Tina says she's not interested in a proper sequel with the original cast, but this film does feature one or two nice surprises. What it does, though, is bring Mean Girls into the modern age, with online shaming on social media bringing more problems than the original burn book of insults. In a way, the internet became like a real-life burn book. Yeah, it's an endless, bottomless burn book of hatred and misinformation. <laughs> Isn't it Although great? we're using it for this interview, so it, it does have some purpose. <laughs> it does some that. positive purposes. <laughs> well, Tina, it's lovely to see you, and thank you for giving me the excuse to, uh, to wear pink. Uh, it right? looks fantastic, and I, I hope you um, I hope you cut the tags off and you keep it. <laughs> I am good. To gauge is blowing up those balloons, I tell you. Thanks. <laughs> All right, cheers. <laughs> Pink's definitely my colour. It's a good year for pink in movies with Mean Girls and Barbie, of course. Yeah. So it's the colour of the year. And it's a great movie to kick off the year. It's out tomorrow in cinema, so go and sing along. So uh, everyone looks good in pink. Uh, uh, well, they I do. thought I'd get the theme today. Thanks, Steve, for that. Yeah. I'm glad you did cut the tags off and keep the shirt. Lovely. Right. No tag, dag here. <laughs> Thanks, Steve.